My name is Luther Craig and I'm a structures engineer in DST Group. My current role is project manager of the Helicopter Advanced Fatigue Test Technology Demonstration Project. The purpose of my work is to help Defence manage the structural integrity of its helicopter fleets. This involves maintaining flight safety, minimising costs and maximising availability. By helping Defence spend more time flying than fixing, we aim to maximise Defence capability. One of our major concerns is fatigue in the airframe uh, or cracking. One of the ways we uh, address this is to do full-scale fatigue testing of the airframe so that we understand where and when fatigue cracks are most likely to occur. We're trying to use full-scale fatigue testing and the knowledge that we would gain from that to more proactively manage the structure and hopefully do it cheaper. So in order for a helicopter full-scale fatigue test to provide advice that our operators can utilise in a reasonable time frame, we need to be able to dramatically speed up the rate at which we currently can do full-scale fatigue tests. To obtain meaningful results from a full-scale fatigue test, we artificially apply the loads and forces that the aircraft would experience over a period that represents approximately twice the average service life of the aircraft. For helicopters, using current test rates, it would take approximately 250 years of constant cycling to reach that point. And that's really what we're targeting with the, the Hafted project. Can we go faster and maintain the accuracy that we need to deliver accurate test results? We can use analytical methods to speed up the process, but ultimately we, we, we need to check that experimentally and that's where we do coupon testing. So we test small uh, material coupons and we try and grow cracks in those coupons to verify that our analytical results are actually believable and accurate. So behind us is what we call the Six Degree of Freedom Dynamic Demonstration, uh, which is a test bed that we're using to advance the rate at which we can apply loads uh, and at the same time do it accurately. The next step would be, if we're successful, uh, would be to consider whether we want to go ahead with a full-scale fatigue test for real on a real helicopter. And at the moment we're looking at the MH60R uh, Romeo Seahawk as a, an exemplar to do that on. So we would use that test to validate structural modifications to increase the, the life of the airframe. So to do a project like uh, the Helicopter Advanced Fatigue Te Technology Demonstrator, this is an inherently multidisciplinary project where we need to leverage uh, skill sets in a number of capability areas. We're collaborating with both industry and academia. The success of the project will be based on whether we can uh, apply loads fast enough to uh, make a full-scale fatigue test possible in a reasonable time frame.